Hello, and welcome. Thank you for joining me for this week's discussion. Keeping in line with the theme of this week's episode, we're going to talk about books. More specifically, we're going to talk about books that we feel are must-reads on the topic of Air Force officership. Now, I hesitate to create or share a, quote, must-read list because I don't think that we should all be reading the exact same thing. As Reed and I discussed in the episode this last week and in our toolbox back in May of 2020, what you read is dependent on you and is unique to you. It doesn't really matter what you read. It is the fact that you do read and that you are pursuing knowledge. That is what matters. Now, that being said, at my drill weekend this past month, I did exactly that. I shared a must-reads list with one of my NCOs. They've already completed their degree, and now they're interested in becoming an officer. And so what's left for them to do is to complete their application and the oral interview. So to help them prepare, I put together a list of AFIs and books that I felt that they should read. I'm going to share this list with you, but before I do, please understand this list is only a snapshot in time. In order to remain effective, Air Force officers must be dynamic and able to adjust to any sort of circumstance. And one of the best ways to do that is to read from a wide variety of resources and share what they learn with others. Again, it is the pursuit of knowledge, not the content that is what is important. But that said, here is the list of AFIs and books that I shared with my NCO to help them prepare to be an officer. Air Force Doctrine Publication 1, The Air Force. Air Force Instruction 1-TAC-1, Air Force Standards. Air Force Instruction 1-TAC-2, Commander's Responsibilities. Air Force Handbook 362618, The Enlisted Force Structure. Air Force Manual 362032, Military Recruiting and Accessions. How to Read a Book by Mortimer Adler. Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. The Armed Forces Officer by Robert Swain and Albert Pierce. Call Sign Chaos by James Mattis. Team of Teams by Stanley McChrystal. The Mission, The Men, and Me by Pete Blaber. And finally, Boyd by Robert Corum. My suggestion to my NCO was to read these books in the order provided and then to answer the following three questions. What does it mean to be an Air Force officer? Why do you want to be an officer? And what is your personal leadership philosophy? Now, let me explain why I chose these books, these AFIs, and these three questions. The first four outline what the Air Force is and why it exists, as well as the responsibilities of the officer and the enlisted airmen. I also include the accession standards because they are different for officers and the enlisted. Now moving to the books, how to read a book is included to teach the reader how to approach the next seven books, as well as any other book that they may read for professional development. Man's Search for Meaning and The Infinite Game are included to help the reader develop a growth mindset and define what success looks like for them. Then the last five books provide examples of effective officership in a variety of different circumstances. And finally, the follow-up questions are included to help the leader really understand and think about what it is they are reading and how they can apply it to themselves. So now that I've shared my list with you, I invite you to do the same. What resources or books do you think are most important for the Air Force officer or those who want to become one to read? Why did you pick those resources or those books? What questions would you ask as a follow-up to encourage deeper learning? Please share your thoughts in the comments below or send it to us on social media or to airforceofficerpodcast at gmail.com. Who knows? There's a good chance that I've overlooked something critical for the development of the Air Force officer, or maybe I don't need to include as many as I have. So I'm interested to see what it is that you think we should be reading and to compare our lists. Thank you for tuning in today and we'll see you next time.